Welcome to round two woodworks. Welcome to my shop. <laughs> Welcome to this very hot August uh, morning. Uh, I think I'm about ready to call it a day, but before I did, I, um, you know, I, I finally made my last payment on my uh, four month old uh, brand new computer. You know, HSN, four easy pays. So, uh, uh, since, since I have a little extra spending money, uh, I've decided to go down to Rockler and to Harbor Freight and uh, my two favorite uh, companies. One that you can get real good stuff from and the other you can get stuff that works from. So uh, I, uh, I uh, in, in round one, when it was automobiles, I had a shop vac, you know, a rigid a Home Depot um, that I've had in, in my shop uh, for 30 years, you know. And most of it was sucking up washers and, and oil absorb and, you know, just shop dirt and dust. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think I, I've ever replaced a filter if I have only one, you know. But as I transitioned from uh, round one automobiles over into round two woodworks, you know, uh, the shop vac is all I have for dust control and, and you know, chips and every other thing. So, I noticed, boy, this filter's clogging up quick. And, and, and uh, you know, when you clean them out, they're never as good as brand new. So, uh, and they're like $39. I, 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 I think that's the or twenty nine dollars or like thirty dollars. You can go up to HEPA and stuff, but uh, I think boy, that's kind of heavy. So um, Rockler had their separator on sale uh, this week, so I decided to go down and get one. So I thought I'd show you, see what it works like. Uh, it'll be kind of a surprise for both of us. I also went down to. Harbor Freight, and I bought a um, a circular saw sharpener. It can go from like four inches to like fourteen inches or something. So I'll just I'll show you that while I'm at it. And then uh, also at Rockler, I bought uh, you know I, I have T squares like this old Stanley. You know it's uh, uh, dated. It's patented, uh, got a patent date of 86 on it, 12, 29, 86. So when I got this, it was way out. I had to, you know, put it on a flat and, and, and get it down to, to square. But now it's square because I, I tested it with my uh, uh, Michitoya, you know, and, and you know, Michitoya is, is about as good as you can get. So. These are big, you know. Um, I have a little one from, you know, Harbor Freight, but this is for eyeballing, you know. Basically, this is, uh, you know, one step above. Uh, that looks square. So, you know, this three bucks or something. And then I've got, you know, another one. Now, this is a LS Sterrett. So this, an old one. So this is a quality measuring tool. So... I had that, but it's big, you know. I, I wanted a smaller, um, you know, engineer square. And uh, I went over to Rockler and they had this little one with their name on it. They had another one with Crown, Sheffield Crown, and it was like 24. This is like 12. I thought, wow, man, I, I you know. I've looked around YouTube and a lot of people say if you're going to spend good money, spend it on measuring tools, you know. And uh, the more I get into the woodworking uh, uh, on a real-time basis, the more I, I, I believe that's to be true. So I was going, geez, 12 bucks, you know, I, I don't want to be cheap, but, you know, I don't want to break my, my tight budget either. So I said, well, I'll give this little rock will or Rockler uh, uh, Engineering Square a try. And I got home and I put it to the the Michitoya and it was dead on. I mean, just perfect inside and outside. 
So I was really happy about that. So that's one of the things I got. Uh, the other is this um, circular saw uh, sharpener. Let me show it to you. Okay, here's the circular saw sharpener. It comes with a, a, a diamond wheel for cutting the face of the uh, saw, you know, the face of the, the, the tooth. And it comes with an emery wheel for sharpening the top. Uh, it was $49. Now, I saw a couple of things on YouTube, a couple of reviews on YouTube. And uh, they said you had to fiddle with it, and you do. So, but basically, you put your your, your saw on, and you uh, um, your your uh, you know your blade on, and you turn it into the gullet, and then you pull this in, and that sharpens the 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 uh, ninety degree uh, face of the tooth, and. Uh, you know, I don't use it like the directions say. You got to fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Once you get it, it's great. But you just got to fiddle with it. So I found my own way to do it. But it works, you know. Uh, I'm happy with it. Let me give you an example. Uh, the top is uh, a dull blade. And I use this. And the bottom make sure you can see it the bottom is uh, the new sharpened blade and you know <laughs> that makes me real happy forty dot forty nine dollars I think it was plus twenty percent discount so uh, you know from really burning the board and smoking up the garage to just a nice clean cut so for me and my way of doing it it's it's you know for a shade tree uh, woodworker it's gonna be good also I got some uh, at, at Rockler's I splurged and got some of uh, bingo and some chair I got a little project that I'm gonna go do on I can't wait to see how that comes out and the other thing that I wanted to show you a review on was um, this um, this separator from Rockler called the Dust Right Separator. Now uh, I really kind of had my eye on Oneida. I really wanted Oneida, and um, but as I say, Rockler had this on a great deal. I thought forty nine dollars, so uh, I I went over to snatch it up. When I took it out of the box. Um, I was a little disappointed because I thought it was small and it didn't look uh, like the picture. But this part was down over it, you know, so it looked like a you know a flower pot. But when you uh, pull this up to snap it, um, you know, it snaps in, and they say it's got a tight seal. I don't know. I haven't used it. The only other thing to do is uh, sandwich the lid between the coupling screw and tight. Now this is my old hose from my old rigid that I've had for 30 years. The hose is so weak that if I put it on there it'll just bend over and it'll pinch the hose. So I had to use these wood blocks to keep the hose up. So one of these days that'll have to go on the you know, go on go on the list to purchase. So the theory is it goes in, goes around, goes out. The dust, I put a brand new filter in my, my shop back. It's clean. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, first for the pile on the ground. This is a little big even for anything. We don't want to send that in there. Okay, first test. Let's go. Seems like it's got good suction. I've got some little drops in here too. Well, 
that set pretty well. Let's see what it does on the, the dust and the table saw well. We got a lot of it. Sucking real good. That should, that should give us plenty to test. Let's see what we got. Wow. That looks good. Picked up the drops. Dropped them in there. That looks pretty good. Let's see what uh, let's see what the vacuum looks like. The proof is in this. Wow. I don't see anything in there. Well, there might be a little dust in there. Yeah, there's a little dust in there. But not much. Most of them went right into there. That's pretty good, I think. I think that's well worth the 49 bucks. Well, I just wanted to take a minute to show you what's new in the shop got a couple of projects going there on the uh, left is my book stand from uh, my uh, do you know as much as a seventh grader I've done that with all hand tools and then on uh, then I've got a couple of um, push blocks that I'm I'm making over there that are sitting on my uh, my board, my shooting board. And then uh, the, I'm going to round off the edges on my router table. So that's what I'm going to do, but I don't know if you can see that. But it says 97 degrees even and 20 degrees wet clock's wrong all right so anyway thank you very much uh, by the looks of this doggone thing you know one that's got a couple of gallons in it one's got a couple of tablespoons in it so I'll, uh, I think that's gonna work real good that's the Rockler um, the Rockler dust right separator so on, for 49 it was well worth it probably worth it for even for even the going rate so thank you very much have a cool evening and we'll talk to you soon